Senator Joe Manchin represents the state of West Virginia and joins us tonight. Uh, Senator, thanks a lot for coming on. You're the intelligence well, committee. Well, it's good to be you with read you. read into this. Very um, good to be with you. So what did you make, first off, of what Professor Cohen just said, that he believes that President Trump's foreign policy objectives, at least some of them in Syria, for example, were thwarted by members of his administration staff working in the agencies who disagreed with him? Well, you know, I can go back that whole, I was listening to the whole interview you yeah. had with him. And it goes back, basically, the people say uh, that we shouldn't be talking to Russians or we shouldn't be talking to other powers of the world. Russia is the only country that can do him harm to the United States of America. It's foolish not to think we should have tried to build a relationship with him. Now, well, if that's they're a, the only country that can do they harm. Have, they have basically the missile uh, capability to do harm to the United States. I've asked that question many times on armed services. Which country is capable of doing harm to us? Right. Russia. Not, not China yet. Not North Korea, as much as they are trying and want to. Russia has the ability with their missile might and their nuclear weapons to do harm. So you have to have that rapport. You have to be able to have some type of communication. Well, sure, but don't, I mean, don't we also have common interests? Almost certainly. Right. I mean, <laughs> push the button both sides. So I guess my question is how, do, I mean, look, I, I think there's probably a balanced view of Russia where you recognize that they're a threat in some ways yeah, militarily, but they also could be an ally in the fight against terror. They're a massive energy producer. We could benefit from a relationship with them. When did they become so evil that talking to them is itself well, an act of evil? I don't think that, uh, Tucker, that uh, Russia has ever been our ally. Okay. I don't think anyone's suggesting that. Okay, right. I'm saying they've never been our ally. I don't think they have the best interest. Basically, we know the hacking that's gone on. We know the intensity of the hacking this last election. But there's no proof that anything changed the results. President Trump won by 43% in West Virginia. I can assure you. That, they, that couldn't have altered that outcome. So you don't think the Russians were involved in the voting in West Virginia at all? I don't think that they were involved in the outcome. We have seen no proof that basically their involvement, their intent to be involved, changed the outcome of the election. So with that being said, we know they had attempted more, they've done more, they put more effort. The trolls and everything else that's going on, the hacking that's going on, all these things. And basically it's something that we shouldn't accept or allow whatsoever and we're trying to make okay, sure they but understand as you know about. since you live and work here mm -hmm. this is shutting down our government and i think the trump administration is partly at fault i think the president's tweets are totally counterproductive and there are lots of things you could say about his conduct that are unflattering well, but democrats in congress have basically ground everything to a halt because of this russia question and and i just wonder if voters are in favor of that like your voters do they really think this is more important than well, it hasn't, coal it jobs hasn't back? been grounded to a total halt i mean if you want to see a halt and i would say this it was ground to a halt under the obama administration basically because of mitch having the power to ground it to a halt mm -hmm. two wrongs don't make a right and i'm the first to tell you that i didn't like what happened uh, the last eight years or the last four years that i was uh, there and now what's happening today but you're I hearing to, Democrats say that they won't vote on an FBI director that, I don't, until I, we get an independent I investigation of Russia. First of all, I think it's important that we have a special prosecutor. Some people don't believe that, okay? I respect that. The bottom line is, is me stopping government. If we give me a good, give me a good uh, centrist, as far as an FBI director that doesn't have any context, not politically tied, right. we should vote for him. Yeah, regardless him of whether place. there's Absolutely. an independent prosecutor. But that's mine. That's place. mine. I'm, I'm kind of doing my own thing, which I always have. But I guess what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that the Russia question should be ignored. I don't know what's at the bottom of it. I don't think anybody does. I resent people pretending they do when they don't. But let's look into it. But is it more important than the stated goals of the administration or, I don't know, the opioid crisis in your state or, or persistent unemployment? All these things are important. Right, okay. Gonna, yeah. so, but and, and Russia seems like seat. the most important by far well, to the Democratic the last Party thing, right now. The, the report that came out this morning, today's a bad day. We've been hearing things, it seems like hour upon hour coming right. out. Uh, I'm on the Intelligence Committee, and I've said this. There are 19 people privileged to classified information at that level. Supposedly, that's what's all allowed. We are told very early on, if you discuss this, you can't discuss it with your colleagues and nobody else, staff, nobody. So we don't talk about things. Not supposed to talk about things. If we do, we'll get thrown off the committee. Right. If it's serious, serious enough of what we uh, you know, reveal, then it could be further charges. So I've taken that very seriously. The president operates under a different set of rules than we do. I would like to say... Well, so do executive branch employees. I mean, they're, you, everything that we're talking about now is the result of leaks, presumably by people who work for Donald Trump, career employees, I would bet, who are leaking this stuff and basically making it impossible to govern well, my the United States government. My recommendation would be this. First of all, I have been out to, to, to um, visit all of our intel sites right. and meet with a lot of our intel people. They're the best in the world. 
they need to have some type of a correlation, a relationship, a dialogue. The president needs to patch this up. We've got the best, and we have people basically, our allies around the world, Tucker, that have gone to battle with us. They have fought with us. They have died. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Are you suggesting that Trump is getting leaked on and is basically unable I'm not to govern? Uh, govern. You're yeah. saying he needs to I would think create a personal relationship with the people who work at the Intel community. I think basically respect. These are professionals. They really are. But even if he doesn't respect them or like them, they still work for him. And civilian control of government suggests well, they should do what he asks or leave, right? Isn't that the way it works? Well, you can take it that, but these are career, uh, these are career professionals. But aren't now, they accountable to said, voters? Shouldn't they be accountable well, to Well, they're voters? accountable to the country. Everybody takes that oath as accountable to the country. The country comes first. Well, There's sure, not but one person, whether it's the president, me, or anybody else. It's the country that comes first. Uh, of course. I'm just saying under our system, their boss is a guy who voters elect. In this case, Donald Trump, it was Barack Obama, it was Bush, it was Clinton. And they have to obey him because he was elected by voters. They weren't. And so when they ignore him or try to Well, he makes the him. final determination basically what direction, but they're doing their job day in and day out. Right. Thank God for that. They're basically monitoring and talking with our other allies, gathering information that keeps America safe. Sure, but, he, but the elected guy gets to set the policies. They don't, do they? No, he can set, he sets the policy, but they have to enforce it from the standpoint, right. they have to follow through. The policy is, I would think the policy would be the same, collect all the information possible possible anywhere in the world someone to do us harm, right. prevent him from doing us harm. So who is our allies around the world? We have people that have fought and stayed with us. Those people are trusted. Do we put people in harm's way? So what came out today could put an awful lot of people in harm's way. Sure seems that way. We're very concerned about that. Yeah, I can see why. Senator, thanks. Thanks, Tucker.